Good morning, friends. Vegas nerve stimulation alternates, reduces systemic inflammation. So this is an extremely important paper. It's part of my uh, landmark papers series and mental health, uh, emotional health uh, uh, playlists. Um, so again, again, this is a historical paper, land, landmark paper uh, published in Nature in, uh, if I remember well, May 2025. Okay, so it's a, it's a quite a bit old paper, 20 years old, 22 years old, and um, but it's still a very important one, uh, one that I like very much because it shows how the, your mental, emotional health is influencing systemically, for example, in this paper, inflammation. As you know, the, the uh, autonomic nervous systems comprises two branches, the sympathetic nervous system, the catecholaminergic nervous system, and the parasympathetic uh, acetylcholinergic uh, nervous system. These are uh, automatic. So basically, before you are thinking about a danger, before you know you hear, uh, as soon as you hear a dog barking, uh, at least a big dog, you know, barking behind you, you immediately uh, react through the sympathetic parasympathetic nervous system with an activation of the sympathetic nervous systems and your blood pressure goes up, your heart rate goes up, your, uh, your retina, your, your eye uh, focusing is changing and many other functions are changing, including the immune system. Uh, this is to protect you, you know, to uh, uh, allow you to escape from danger. So again, you know, these are, automatic conditioning that is within our brain and every organ, heart, lungs, and uh, the eye, the, the, the glands, uh, the intestines are innervated by these sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. So it is in this extremely important paper by Kevin Tracy, uh, shows uh, that the uh, activation of the vagus nervous system is uh, inhibiting inflammation in vitro and in vivo by the binding of acetylcholine. Acetylcholine basically is the uh, main neurotransmitter of the parasympathetic nervous system and uh, here uh, as you can he as you can see here she shows that uh, macrophages uh, stimulated with uh, lps uh, uh, and then uh, with acetylcholine you have an inhibition of tna tnf alpha production in vitro okay so there are a number of experiments where she dissects the importance of the acetylcholine uh, binding to the acetylcholinergic receptor with and without you know, the, the different type of uh, acetylcholine uh, receptor. Uh, and so I, I don't want to bother you know, with, the, with the complexity of you know, all these experiments that are beautifully done showing a dose-dependent effect of acetylcholine-mediated inhibition of TNF-alpha, and not only of TNF-alpha, because there is also inhibition of LPS-induced uh, interleukin-1-beta, interleukin-6, and interleukin-18 production secretion from macrophages. And instead of, there is a, a, a prevention. So there is no change in the secretion of the anti-inflammatory cytokine interleukin 10, as you can see here, you know, dose dependent with, as acetylcholine increases, there is a dose dependent reduction in interleukin 1 beta, interleukin 1 18, interleukin 6, 
and no significant change in interleukin 10. Then in the second part of the study, basically Tracy, she did an in vivo experiment where um, she uh, uh, basically uh, uh, um, she performed uh, bilateral cervical vag vagotomy in these rats, and then she stimulated uh, the the uh, efferent uh, vagus nervous activity electrically. You see by the application of a constant voltage pulses to the distal end of the vagus nerve. 10 minutes before and again 10 minutes after the administration of a lethal dose of LPS. LPS is an endotoxin that is causing basically death because of sepsis, because it induces sepsis. And so basically what she found is that these uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in the animals that were stimulated with uh, this uh, voltage of, uh, of electrical voltage, uh, of the uh, vagus nerve, vagal nerve, there was a significant reduction in the amount of TNA alpha, TNF alpha, this pro inflammatory cytokine, in the serum. Uh, not only that, but there was a significant reduction in TNF alpha in the liver. And because liver is the principal source of serum TNF alpha during. Uh, endotoxemia, and uh, and uh, and uh, most importantly, uh, the animals that uh, were stimulated with these uh, with vagal nervous st stimulation basically had uh, reduced uh, hypotension shock. Uh, and uh, they also have a shortened the time to development of shock compared to sham operated uh, controls and um, and uh, and basically uh, they were also uh, uh, basically uh, less prone to die uh, because of these uh, endo endotoxemia so again showing how important is both in vitro and in vivo the uh, activation of these uh, cholinergic vagal parasympathetic anti-inflammatory pathway uh, and that has a much shorter response times than the humoral anti-inflammatory pathway so it's more active more uh, more uh, fast in inducing this anti-inflammatory effect. Uh, and um, and uh, let me now explain you why it's important because you may ask, okay, why these uh, parasympathetic cholinergic uh, uh, stimulation is important? And most importantly, how can I achieve it? So in this uh, beautiful review article, again, from uh, Kevin Tracy published in Nature, I think in 2000, and let me see, in 2002, a couple of years later than that original manuscript in Nature, the title is The Inflammatory Reflex. Uh, so basically, again, inflammation is a local protective response to microbial invasion or injury and other factors, and we know metabolisms. Excessive adipotis, adipotis is a major source of infl chronic inflammation, and it must be fine-tuned and regulated precisely because deficiency or excess of the inflammatory response cause morbidity and shorten lifespan. And so the discovery of these uh, cholinergic parasympathetic neurons inhib inhibit acute inflammation has qualitatively expanded our understanding of how the nervous system modulates immune responses, okay? So there is a beautiful uh, here uh, sentence by, by Molier 
the mind has great influence over the body and, and diseases often have their, their origin there. And again, this paper, uh, this review article, you know, that I, I suggest you read together with the paper that I show you before shows, you know, all the molecular biology physiology of how the activation of the parasympathetic nervous system, the vagal system, it's inhibiting, inhibiting inflammation. So again, you know, as I told you, you know, the, the, these, uh, the, the parasympathetic nervous system centrally activated, uh, it, it releases acetylcholine that is the neurotransmitter in many organs. And when acetylcholine from the synapses basically binds to the acetylcholine, acetylcholine receptor or macrophages, it inhibits the production of TNF-alpha, interleukin-1 beta, interleukin-6, interleukin-18, and many other cytokines. So why is it important? It's important because you know, we can modulate. So how we can uh, activate the vagal activity. And uh, well, uh, there are several uh, ways, you know, and uh, in, the, in the following videos, I'm gonna show you some papers showing how we can do it. Definitely meditation is one, uh, uh, biofeedback, uh, mental conditioning, I'm going to talk about it in a second. Some studies, even if they are weak data shows, suggest that agopuncture, but for example, slow breathing. So there are beautiful paper published in circulation, hypertension, showing that, you know, if we breathe instead of the typical 12 to 16 breaths per minute, we lower the breathing to uh, six, eight per minute, we are activating through bioreceptors the, the vagal, the parasympathetic nervous system. Uh, therefore, for example, learning how to do that is very important because, you know, if we dedicate a few minutes every day, you know, to uh, control our diaphragmatic uh, respiration and we, we slow that, you know, we have an effect. So remember, there is the sympathetic nervous system that is reactive, the, the fight, uh, flight and fight. So if you are in danger, automatically there is an activation of the sympathetic nervous system that is allowing you to fight or fly, and therefore you are immediately increasing heart rate, respiration rate, and your, you know activation of the immune system and stuff like that. In contrast, when you are in, at peace, when you are relaxed and uh, there is no danger, you know, you have this uh, increased tone of the parasympathetic vagal nervous system. And again, the neurotransmitter is acetylcholine, okay, that has, for example, this anti-inflammatory effect. We are living in a world where, you know, we have a lot of stress, a lot of activation of the uh, sympathetic nervous system. Uh, anxiety, a lot of, you know, we live in this busy, very confrontational society with a lot of traffic, a lot of, you know, compared, you know, to the, li to the, to the life of people living, for example, you know, a farmer living in the countryside, you know, the, the, the amount of stress and inputs and uh, factors that are causing a overactivation of the, the sympathy nervous system is huge. And by the way, uh, we know that, for example, obesity by itself is activating the nervous, uh, the, the sympathy nervous system is a, is a, is a biofeedback contradictory effect where, you know, if you have excessive abdominal uh, fat, especially you have an activation of the sympathetic nervous system tone. And then, and we know, and I show you, and I'm going to show you in other papers that as we age, you know, we have a, imbalance between the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system that you can measure through heart rate variability. So as you age, heart rate variability declines because there is less, uh, there is a imbalance or you know, your parasympathetic nervous system is, uh, is, is less, uh, is, 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 is weaker and therefore you have a relatively uh, power of the sympathetic nervous system. And uh, we know, for example, that color restriction is rebalancing. So is increasing the parasympathetic tone and is increasing heart variability. 
there are animal studies and we publish, my group published a paper showing that in humans, there is an increase in heart variability because of a stronger parasympathetic tone. So diet can change it. Exercise can change it. You know, we know that, you know, if you are exercise during the active exercise, you have an activation of the sympathetic nervous system. You have an increase in catecholamines and that's why you are able to increase your heart rate and blood pressure, you can exercise and you can pump oxygen and nutrients to your muscle. After the exercise, in the following hours after the exercise, instead of you have a a rebalance of the parasympathetic nervous system, the vagal system that is trying to bring down your heart rate and everything. And so basically you have an increased tone of the parasympathetic nervous system. And the, and, 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 and a measurement of this one is that, you know, as you get more and more fit, your uh, uh, resting heart rate goes lower. That's because you have a stronger parasympathetic tone, okay? Uh, and so diet, calorie restriction is increasing and fasting is increasing heart variability. And so parasympathetic tone, exercise, is increasing parasympathetic tone. As I said, meditation, uh, slow uh, breathing is increasing uh, uh, heart variability and and, uh, stimulating the uh, vagal nervous system. Okay, so as you can see here, you have a number of intervention that can help you to control the uh, what uh, is the the shorter, the quicker way of there is the as 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 basically uh, Tracy was saying. Basically, you know, we have the 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 the, 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 the quick uh, and the humoral, and the nervous and humoral, and so basically you can um, you can um, you can basically activate you know these uh, these uh, nervous system inhibition of inflammation by acting uh, through these pathways with these different infor- informa- intervention that i was mentioning okay so i hope you know that this type of information is important to you because it it's explaining how beautiful is this physiology, how the, uh, the metabolisms and the uh, central nervous system are integrated and they are working together to create homeostasis and how metabolism is influencing the central nervous systems, as I, as I told you, for example, through obesity, to uh, increase in sympathetic nervous system or diseases, inflammation, and vice versa, how uh, what we eat, how much we exercise, if we are anxious, chronically stressed, uh, we get angry easily, and so we activate the sympathetic nervous system and we inhibit the parasympathetic nervous system, and how basically uh, cultivating our mind. Uh, you know, spending time to relax, to take time for ourselves to relax, to meditate, to breathe uh, slowly, to exercise, especially in, in the na- in nature, and uh, to be uh, friendly, altruistic. You know, to to be in a good mood, so that you know we are relaxed. We are not always stressed, and uh, and 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 in this uh, uh, fight and flight mode that again, for example, not only is increasing blood pressure, heart rate, the risk of arrhythmia, as I'll show you in other videos, but based on these important papers published in Nature and other journals by Trace and others, is activating a pro-inflammatory cascade through the parasympathetic nervous system. Thank you, as always, for listening. Uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.